So I'm about to sign a contract to work indefinitely until the job is done without having any idea of what the job specifically is. Alright. I heard you're the courier. Hey, I know you. You're the courier. You wouldn't happen to be the courier of the Mojave. So, you're the courier? You're that mailman, courier, or whatever the fuck. The courier from the Mojave. You the courier? Nope. Nah, I think you are the courier. You should probably watch your back down here. See you again soon, courier. This gun sounds like a gun from some other game, but I can't place it. Whoa, that's a genuinely shocking fact. Oh, dude, I can still listen to the... Elijah you're looking for. The bastard's already run off. If... If you find anyone beyond saving, you need to put them out of their misery. This music is wildly inappropriate. Get it done, Gray. And discreetly. How am I supposed to be discreet about this? There's a fucking walking congregation going on here. I, I actually don't have- I'm actually just supposed to just shoot this dude in the head and pretend that no one's gonna notice. Hold on, let me, uh... <coughs> Sorry. that same evening do you think this is a game two hours later that man is writhing in pain missing an arm because of the choice you made 12 seconds later wait is this actually like a game over that'd be sick honestly if this is like a game over sequence that respect I'm just expecting that I'm going to get... I'm just going to hang here for a while, maybe, and get rescued. I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting. If this is actually, like, a game over sequence right here, then that meta, like, uh, rant that the fucking dude torturing us gave me is honestly, like, legit. It's amazing, like, how many different ways this mod is, like, undermining. It's, like, from a technical standpoint, this mod is actually very impressive. But, man, literally every other aspect of this mod is, like, just, just awful. <laughs> like, there was that whole meta monologue earlier from the Legion guy who's, like, your choices matter. If the decisions you make actually have an effect on what happens. And then they give me no choices in any of the dialogue. It's like, why... Why even prompt me? Hold it there! I think I see movement up ahead. Sweet Jesus. You see what I see, Courier? Take a look through your scope. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this Mad Max? Like, what? <laughs> Oh, he hit a pole. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this mod? If 
what you're saying about the beam of light is true, then I fear this may have been the work of something I'd only thought was a myth. The Archimedes II death ray. Oh, wow. Yes. We only found out about this death ray after seizing Helios I from the Brotherhood. Perhaps it was the reason they held out for so long. At best, the reports they gave seemed senseless, but I see now that they were completely accurate. Don't say the Enclave. Hmm. It seems beyond the means of the Brotherhood and of all the enemies we have been up against. Only the Enclave has had access to the Don't. kind of technology you're describing. But what are they doing in the frontier? I can't the last believe. reports we had pegged them fleeing eastward in massive numbers. There has been no organized resistance in the Republic for decades. Whatever. The Enclave. Why? Can you not come up with one original faction? Can you come up with one? Oh my god, please. Do we have to use the same, like, I mean, clearly we do. Clearly it's not a Fallout game unless the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave are there. All right, you ready for this, Courier? Why do you have to address me by name in every conversation? Can you can you just say, or you were like, it's clear that you're talking to me. Great, you'll be driving. I have a feeling you'll be good at this. Why did I just discover the fucking... Whoo! We actually made it! Nice driving! I knew you'd pull it off. If you have any questions, now's the time. There's not enough time until the fucking heat death of the universe for me to fucking ask all of my questions. Why are you dressed like a James? Ugh. It's called style. And it looks better than whatever you're wearing. More importantly, it keeps me incognito. Bro, you are the most conspicuous person I've ever seen in my NCR. life. <laughs> Just the quiet clapping. Oh, this is so awkward. It's Dr. Vaughn, what's his name? Fuck. <laughs> what? The fucking... <laughs> the scuttle. <laughs> Please. Thank you. What? <laughs> this. This is bad. This is this is the worst. Who that next specimen will be, I leave up to you. Uh. 
Oh no, she is supposed to be alive. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. We're back, baby. Okay. And now all three of them are. And now I'm just. I'm just. Floating in the air again. What? Oh, controls, plural. Oh, we're back. Did not mean to eat those mentats. You can't eat a whole pun. I'm, I'm carrying 48 pounds of pumpkin. Eh, maybe drop a couple. Oh, but I can eat a whole watermelon. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, these are like 12 pound pumpkins. These aren't your average every day. I mean, this is the future, you know. If you couldn't fucking like commit a felony with a with a pumpkin, then like why even why even pick it? Why even grow it, honestly? You commit some serious manslaughter with a pumpkin of that size, and I'm all about it. My objective now? No, oh, just no, just no objective. Okay. Sure. I think I instantly die if I walk into this. Yes. I think I die if I get hit by the fan. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked. Get out of a water pool, like. Is this not something we play tested? Did we play test anything in this mod? Holy shit. I actually can't jump out of it. There's no way. There's no way. I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, I have. I literally have to fucking. <laughs> I didn't go in. Okay. Where, where did it land? Can I? I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't. I can. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh god! Oh god, I'm getting It's fine. I'm just in this water. Humanity it's fine. will never learn. They will always repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Am I supposed to be in here? I get the feeling I'm not. Yeah, there's enemies out there. Whoops. Good to see if you accidentally jumped in there, you're just like fucked. What a waste of resources this has all been. I completely agree. What a waste of resources this has all been. He's saying what I'm thinking. These also screen shake every time they land. So if I spam... Let's see. I'm going to spam the pit boy button and see if I can pull out the pit boy at all. I don't think I can. No, I cannot open. You just can't open the pit void because it's screen shaking nonstop. I wonder if you get insta killed if this falls on you. You probably do. Oh, no, you don't. Well, at least they figured. Oh, no, okay. You don't unless you do. I. <laughs> okay. Godspeed. Godspeed.
thought he was just about to just walk into that for the next 45 minutes. I was about to flip my shit. He didn't get into the plot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, rip. All right. Man. He saved my frame rate up. Oh. <laughs> it never ends with this fucking mod, dude. <laughs> Is there going to be a sequence where I fly after him in space? Oh, no. Hold on, are you sure you can fly this thing? Uh... Yes, this is all in the fucking game. I mean, it's very impressive for the Gamebryo engine, but it's also jank as shit. As scuffed as this probably looks, it feels nine times scuffed for... Is he... If he launches in a... That's a big asteroid. <laughs> It's the buggy Warrior, that I can't drive. I tracked you down through the Seafinder's beacon. We need to get out of here, quick! The Legion's on high alert. They'll be on to us any second. open the door and I could have just walked out. So, you're the courier who asked to join us in the middle of being tortured. Literally, I have my orders literally on a piece of paper. How is there not a dialogue option to bring up the piece of paper that I was handed giving me my orders? Like, is that, was that guy setting me up? We're here. These are some of the Legion's finest recruits. They're going to beat you. They're hitting me. They're hitting me from 10 feet away. What the fuck is this? What? Every time I try to play the game, the mod is like telling me in a very roundabout and insulting way to go fuck myself in five different ways. Everything from like the completely nonsensical writing to the like. Ugh, to to this shit. Okay, now they're attacking me one at a time. What? What the fuck? I I did like nothing differently, and I I don't, don't fucking understand. According to the rumors, you've accomplished more than even myself. But that's all they are to me, rumors. 
don't. I still don't know what? you, Courier. I don't know what you can do. And until then, I can't trust you. You can't, like, Yet verify this with, like, I don't here. know, Caesar, I who I've met with personally, according yourself. to my reputation? No like, what? To wear that. Wait, what happens if I go back to the NCR camp? Am I just assumed dead? There's literally a faction reputation system for this. There's literally a feature in the game for this. If you would have just given me negative NCR rep or an NCR exile rep or whatever the fuck, I would have realized, okay, I shouldn't go back here. But this... <laughs> why would... Why do you have to do this when there's a faction system in the game? Are these dudes going to aggro on me? Are they gonna put two and two together? These guys are just still guarding the door. It's too cold out. I, yeah, yeah, that is a problem. It is pretty cold out here. A, a direct attack on Ostia? Blackthorn must be getting desperate. A Praetorian, to me. Go on. Go. There's an attack. You gotta go, dude. You gotta defend. <laughs> Imagine having a brain of this size. Imagine having a fucking walnut brain like this dude. Oh yeah, the Enclave? Eh, don't worry about him. And apparently I need a perception check to figure out that he might be lying when I just picked up the documents detailing out the lie that he is telling. When did New Vegas come out? 2007? We've had like 13 years to like study that game and what makes it like a good game. And we just haven't figured it out, I guess. Uh -huh. I'm working both sides pushing my agenda. When this is over, I'm gonna make the Wasteland a better place. I want you to help me. You can dig up dirt on the Legate, something we can use to hurt him. And when he's out of the way, we take control. So the NCR is perfectly capable of going to the space station and doing all of that shit that I had to do in the NCR campaign. They're perfectly capable of doing all of that without me. Tiberius literally said, bro, trust me over fucking Archimedes 2. It's like the uh, Yes Man plotline for Vegas, except I'm not the one in control, so I don't get to decide anything, and there's no, there's no control at all. It's like if I was working for Mr. House, but Mr. House just told me nothing the entire time. They'll consolidate what little they have left in... It's almost... Oh... Then speak. Huh? What do you need? Bye. Wait, do I not? What is it? What? I... I don't I don't even have a quest. What the hey, we did it. What do you need? Later. <laughs> huh. Maybe I'll just uh let's let's just um hold on, let me uh And so the courier's tale in the frontier comes to an end and the war, uh, the war never changed. The courier and Tiberius, whatever the fuck his last name was, Rancor, uh, subsumed the Legion and led them to, I don't I actually, I don't know what Tiberius's plan was, uh, but we, we did that and then, uh, 
we made the wasteland a better place without using a giant enclave space later. Oh yeah, the enclave was also in the story, but because we didn't pick the NCR, we saw them for approximately like three minutes. That was cool, uh, except it was the enclave and they shouldn't even be in this mod, but, uh, or just in this area or in the Fallout universe anymore because they got bombed in Fallout 2. And so, uh, war, uh, war never changes. My name's Ron Perlman. It feels like for every, like, for every one neat idea uh, that the mod has, there's, like, five either broken things or just, like, terrible ideas that are just immediately undercutting it. This is just kind of what happens when you get, like, a bunch of modders together and there's no real direction. And it could have been cool. That's, like, one of the great summations of this mod. It could have been cool. I expect there's going to be quite a few video essays about why this mod is just like complete trash and should never be played. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. There's only so much you can fix here. I don't expect they're going to start like rewriting the plot or anything. I mean, jankiness aside, which is to be expected, I think that's where like, that's where the core issues are. Time to uninstall this. 